what up, it's your boy T Bird and reaction. So, um, yesterday it was supposed to be Wrestling Wednesday, but I had a busy day. Plus, like I said, Wrestling Wednesday really became Wrestling Wednesday with the expansion of MOW restart. It started on you know, 7 p.m. I tried to get it, do it before that, but I had dinner ready for the family, for my, for my wife, and everything. Anyway, but. I'm going to do this out of the way in the morning, but this is a quick make makeup for Wrestling Wednesday. So, you know, this weekend, I ain't got a little crust in my face. This weekend is the Survivor Series, which also is farewell, the final farewell to The Undertaker, who is, who, the, who, who is, um, sorry, I'm trying to get my thoughts together because it's more orally. It is the 30th anniversary since his debut. As he debuted in, in the 1990 Survivor Series as the Dead Man, being part of Team De Ted DiBiase's uh, the uh, military team, I guess you say, be brought in by Brother Love. So, in commemory of that, most of your favorite superstars of the E uh, took part in paying homage, homage to the Dead Man, defeating them, the Undertaker, and, and taking as they did a photo shoot dressed up as his um, most memorable gimmicks through the years of the Undertaker, such as the American Bat, the Dead Man himself, including American Badass, Big Evil, the Ministry of Darkness, and, and the return of the Dead Man as well, too. So we'll check this video out as numerous superstars such as Jeff Hardy, Sasha Banks, AJ Styles, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Bianca Belair, and Shinsuke, Nakamura and Selena Vega um, show their love for the one and only dead, one and only female, The Undertaker. And which is going to kind of sad about this in a way, because hold on, way, because this is probably one of the last um, WWE related thing that Selena Vega did, because as you know, um, not recently she was released from WWE as of last week. Um, I'm not going to get into that story too much, though. I mean, the situation sucks, but hopefully she uh, do, do find whatever she go to, whether it is she goes to AEW or make her return to Impact, which she started at. But enough about that. Let's get into seeing the senior face superstar become The Undertaker. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, and uh, Alexa, okay. Today, we are celebrating the phenol. Hold up, I'm not sure why I just did No that. one told me my bill was gonna double after one year. They're breaking it down. What are these? Um, the Undertaker's 30 year phenomenal unparalleled career here in the WWE. Mm -hmm. Nice. Once I put on everything, I'm just like, all right, let's embark on the Undertaker. Let's stick out that tongue. Roll your eyes. <laughs> Rest in peace. Did you like that impression? <laughs> oh, shout out to Shasta. She made her. She made sure she made her. Uh, you know, is her, her official debut in the uh, limelight as she she being her, she stars in the new season of Mandalorian. So yeah, shout out to her for that too, and shout out her to get keeping that title. So. I'm the Undertaker. Bianca, yes. She trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I really can't do it. We want to emulate the Undertaker, we, but we also wanted to be inspired. So we really tried to encourage our stylists to think out of the box, to kind of take those classic Undertaker looks and think of a different way to show the Undertaker. I feel kind of just like him, like this other, like freaky modern day version of an yeah, enigma or something. Story with the green tie. Undertaker himself has a very iconic look. The look he is does. very um. He does. Fact. Pretty much, it's probably already in my closet, to be honest. Um, but I get to actually wear a cape, which is fun. Yeah. And a lot of black, a lot of leather, a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Well, obviously, being the American badass is who I'm portraying right now, which I thought was exactly what it says it is. It is crazy. Every character that he played. It's crazy that uh, he just had that little, his, he had his final match with the Undertaker at WrestleMania that he's doing. It. That stuff he, uh, some homage right there. It was always so cool, and he always did it so well. So uh, I take yes, a lot of pride in being the American badass today. Yes. 
you have three poses. One's on a motorcycle, and, and we didn't have a motorcycle today. And this is about as much as the photo shoot turned out. Like this. A lot of it was like this. Maybe some of this. I feel like I am uh, 2004, I think. No. The oh, cool yeah. Undertaker. Get the hands. <laughs> Army era of Undertaker. Yeah, so made the poor bear. Coming to Undertaker today, it was a little different for me because, you know, Bianca Billy, I'm all bedazzled uh, or whatnot. And today well, I'm, I'm dark, dark and I'm scary. Yeah. And just like, was, uh, you killed, know, I'm this person that I was scared of as, as a kid. I was wondering why she got bare. I guess because you can't fit the boots probably. I was wondering why she was bare. But I can't stop smiling because I'm like so happy, but it's not badass. I'm not playing. I just wanted to like, make her go barefoot for that photo shoot, I guess, because the boots. But yeah, her and Ruby. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I always love dressing up and portraying characters, so this is right in my realm. Yeah. I kind of want to just wear this every day for the rest of my life. That's how cool it is. The Undertaker means so much to the WWE Universe for the same reason he means so much to me as a fan. He's always been there. And has changed the game, and I mean has left a legacy that will last a lifetime. Oh, when you think about WWE, like, The Undertaker is such a household name. Just everyone knows who The Undertaker is. He's just given so many moments. He's given so many moments, unforgettable moments that make you feel, and I think that's the most important, and he's done it continuously throughout his whole entire career. So you just, you just don't think of WWE without thinking of The Undertaker. I had the perfect character for WWE, and not only did he make it last until the end of his career, it's also one of the best. Yep, that's the match, he uh, faced that. So yeah, I had Diane Long. So yeah, it looks like they didn't, I'm not sure they did this around the time she got like, oh nah, but I did, I was, um, they didn't show Selena Vega's uh, Undertaker uh, costume. Let me, uh, if I can bring it up. Um, I'm gonna bring it up real quick. Give me a second, but but yeah, she actually dressed like one. I actually gave her props for the which the one she dressed the best, but they didn't show. I guess I'm just most around time she got let go. So hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. So I got the picture now. Like I said, um, Selena Vega also did cosplay as them as well too. And if you see right here, she did. The reason why I like to do this one, she did the uh, Phantom Mass one, the one that was like a short lived one he did for a minute because uh, his he uh, he he broke his orbital for, he broke his orbital uh, orbital bone at the time, and they covered it with a little face face protector. But when he did a little Phantom Mass, is that time he was feuding with uh, Mabel, and both Yokozuna and Mabel was uh, crushing his supposedly crushed his face with lay drops and all that. It was crazy, um, but yeah. Um, but and he came back that it was like and it was actually another subversary he did that though too. And the dope thing about it though like, um I ain't think about this cause later on cause I know about like back other oh, backstage crew besides the click and everything, but um he did it with the most of the people on his team was part of his uh BSK click minus uh Godfather aka uh where he was then comma and Yokozuna at the time, you know, you he was posting Yokozuna, but he and um also her fitting was part of but it was Savio Vega, Henry Godwin, and Rakishi back then when he was known as about two and he was a little slimmer too, looked like his sons. But yeah, um and they saying that Savio Vega will make an appearance on um this seven hour series though to show love for his BSK brother. I hope the rest of the BSK show love too. Of course we uh they lost him around which is Logos Yokozuna who passed away. But uh, I wonder if all of them will at least all of them will show up in the way though. That'd be awesome. But other than that, um if y'all know what I'm talking about, look up BSK with Undertaker though, that's his crew right there. He mentioned it on the uh, Last Ride documentary, y'all watch that. And also another documentary you gotta watch out, you gotta watch, check out. Definitely check out um the Brother of Destruction documentary on um on um 
Duddy Neckward though. I might even if I found time before Survivor Series, I might want to check out the rotation about Paul Bear as well too. You know, uh, Paul Bear, Percy Pringle, Paul Bear, whatever you want to call it, he had an illustrious career in wrestling. I might want to check that out as well too. So um, other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T. We're signing off. One love.